I hope you enjoy this little film of our family day at Water Priory. After being let down in the past with other venues, we decided several years ago to book Water Priory. And one of the main reasons was, of course, the guaranteed sport. The others being proximity and the professionalism of the estate. I'd like to thank Frank once again for making our family day a day to remember. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Water. Today, most departages, we're still in October, most departures, you can show the nice if they're good enough and they've got a good tail on because they've got to go for food. So, if you want to shoot a pheasant, just maybe because it's up there, just make sure it's If you want to shoot a pheasant, just ask permission. <laughs> yeah. Five more carefully only, please, no plus ones. Morning everybody. Well, back at water on our family day. We've got a good line up here today. Well, we're going to have a bit of fun as well. <coughs> uh, serious when on the on this stand when uh, we're waiting for birds. But uh, when we're off it, we're going to have a good laugh today and show you what real country folk are like. And uh, and that means plenty of laughter, but also serious on the uh, on the peg, making sure that we uh, cleanly kill our birds. Lovely. See you in a minute. This first drive, Ringlands, I requested this drive because it's a nice friendly drive for all types of shot. And my very inexperienced grandson Brandon is sharing with Mum Rachel today, so I thought it would ease him into the groove, so to speak. You will also notice that ABC poaches one of my birds directly in front of me. But the day has only just started, so plenty of time for payback. <laughs> The line. Anyway, Mr. Parker, what's it like being back on the old day, family day at water? Well, it's an absolute privilege, isn't yeah, it? I it's not it's... just a family day, it's family and best friends day. Family and best friends, it is, yeah, exactly. Day. Family yeah, and best friends. It's been extended this year, hasn't which it? Are, which are really all family, aren't they, when you think they are all close true. friends? It, it is just true, it's all family, isn't it? Yeah, the beauty of outshore, it gets everybody together, you know, and everybody has a nice day and a it, good laugh. And more important. Nice pot of tea and a bit of uh, 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 Yorkshire bread. <laughs> <laughs> You forgot my bread, didn't you? I did forget Twat. your bread. I did forget yeah. your bread. But the good news is that last night, the great Dave Carey paid for the meal. Unbelievable. Uh, hey. well, well, somebody snuck off into the toilet. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I, could hear, I, could hear a lot, I could hear a lot of laughing going off when, I were, when it were clicking me, me, me card. <laughs> Pleasure having you, mate. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's funny, Pete, who's loading for me, he was sat there saying, dead easy to wind up our day. <laughs> you know, oh, what are you doing shooting 40 grand fours there, Dave? <laughs> yeah, Do I tell you how to put petrol in your car? <laughs> Don't you tell me how to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hold it, do I? You know, I mean, what, I, they once said to me, this, this old posh said to me on the shoot, he said, well, he says, those cars are rather noisy, what are you using? I says, 42 gram fours. Huh, 42 gram fours? Have you got anything else? I says, yes, 42 gram threes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to wish our uh, our potato pickers from uh, Lincolnshire a very good day because they won't be joining us today. Yeah, it's a shame they're not, yeah. I think they're back from here yeah, anyway. It's a shame they're not here and a shame they're not, they won't be able to come back. No. It's a shame. Uh, that's just for the, 
the potato, the, the spud bashes of Lincolnshire. For being greedy. <laughs> I got a hindbird once, and if you, watch Lucky his, if you watch his videos, you'll see that one on every video. <laughs> it's like he turned out this one. You should have heard this one. Oh, Christine, get, get Lucky Cap out and be Lucky Tie, because I know people saying I've not got the right outfit on for that video. So when it comes out, when I, when I, when I, when I put that bird in, he says, <laughs> he'll be saying, oh, put that, put that, get me your hat out, love, so I can, get, so I can edit that right good eye bird in that shot three years ago. <laughs> Second drive paradise, one of my all time favourite drives, where birds split and come straight across high or go all the way down the line in front as long crosses. Recovery of balance to correct lines is imperative here, as you can go from a high overhead bird straight onto a very high long crossing bird. The long crosses go down the whole line so everybody has a chance of wiping someone's eye. This particular drive catches the best of shots out. When I sent the cameraman to film Stuart, it doesn't appear he fared very well. He was noticeably quiet coming off that drive. I wonder why. Well done Frank, absolutely fantastic drive that, I mean that sincerely. Yeah. To take him, I mean everybody got shooting all the way down the line yeah. and then to take him up there, you've, you've, of course you've changed this drive dramatically haven't you yeah, really? Well, yeah. Now come off there now, <laughs> some, of them, some of them are out of range out there. Fun. Proper, proper birds. Yeah, two back there. Yeah, two back. One week? 21 isn't it? 21 week, bloody hell, it's unreal. And every time he comes uh, back he gets a biscuit. See? This little dog, 21 week old. Third drive, Avenue End. I always say one of the hardest drives in the country. Too strong a wind, impossible almost. Here we have my good pal Kev Joblin, one of the best game and clay shots in the country. He pulls a few nice ones down here, and some appear to look like his neighbours. But all quite correct, as this drive is similar to the last one, where birds come straight across, high, and always down in front of the line, still high. It looks like poaching, but they are legitimately kept birds. Here's my old pal Trevor Keys, pulling some corking birds down. Not bad for a chap that's pretty new to shooting, and doesn't put that much practice in. I think he must be a bit of a natural, or it could be the few lessons he's had off Mark Windsor that's brought him on a little bit quicker. What do you think?
Final drive, Clampies, if I remember correctly. Good birds again. Serious eye above and some serious crosses. Also, nice to see my old friend Nigel Tapley with the only side-by-side -side in the field that day. Still a great pleasure to see the old boy put them to such good use. Something else to note, my cameraman managed to catch Rachel's French Bulldog, Bonnie, retrieving a partridge. I think she ate it a few moments later though. <laughs> anyway, a real nice finish to the day. And once again, thanks to Water Priory for making it such a wonderful experience. Thank you.